Hi Vogue, my name is Sadie Sink and this is 7 Days, 7 Looks. This is a dinner with friends kind of look. I'd wear this to even go see a show or something like that. It's a pretty standard Sadie outfit, just jeans, blazer, maybe a heel, maybe a sneaker, depending on how I'm feeling, and then a pop of red. So, you know, it's a little bit more exciting. This is Saint Laurent, pretty much all Saint Laurent, and then some Levi jeans. This is very true to kind of my style. Shoulder pads are something we see a lot on Stranger Things. Very trendy in the 80s. This is kind of different from other blazers that I have just because there's more of like a shape. So it feels a little bit more dressy. And also it's cropped too. It's not like, a, you know, one of my slouchy blazers. And the jeans fit in the hem of them too. It just hits at a really nice place that makes them feel a little bit more dressy. This is a look that I've been dying to wear for a while. It's a perfect summer look. I don't know where exactly I'm going in this, but this is this seemed like the perfect excuse to wear it. It's full Mew Mew. These are some creepers that I've had for a little bit and I can't wear them casually. I never know when to wear them. They go perfect with this outfit, but they're certainly a statement. And then this is a cute little purse also Mew Mew. People always ask me like, oh, like, do you avoid certain colors? I don't, I really don't pay attention to it. There's definitely certain colors that I gravitate towards, maybe subconsciously. It's usually just like neutral colors, but this is just too fun. So I had to. <laughs> okay, so this is my premier red carpet look. It's full Chanel. Any chance I get to wear Chanel, I'll do it. I wore Chanel to my first ever premiere for season two of Stranger Things. I was the new kid. I had just joined the Stranger Things cast. And I think I still do feel like the new kid, even though it's I, we just filmed, I guess, my third season, the show's fourth season. Um, I think I'm always gonna feel like the new kid in a way. <laughs> I think I kind of gravitate towards Black and white, I have worn color before, but for the major red carpets that I've done, it's always been like a black or white look. The first few ones are really scary. And I think they're still, they're still kind of nerve wracking. You just kind of like black out for a bit and do the best that you can. <laughs> this would be a good, interview or work meeting look. I'd probably most likely wear this to a press junket situation or something like that. It's um, an acne shirt and pants with like a comfortable heel. These are almost like sweatpant slacks, so they're pretty comfortable for like a long day of press. Typically when I'm doing press, I do pants because you're sitting for a long time, so it's better to be comfortable. And then this is one of my favorite bags of all time. It's Stella McCartney. I feel like it can lean towards being more formal, but I'll wear it with something like this or I'll wear it with like jeans and a t-shirt and have it kind of be my one statement piece. It's pretty sophisticated. And I like that this shirt isn't like your classic like button up. It's a little looser. It's a more professional look while still having like, you know, keeping things a little interesting. Interviews are definitely something that I've also, I've had to get used to. It is kind of weird just like sitting and, and meeting like different people all day and they're asking you all these questions and a lot of the time it's like the same questions over and over again. But honestly, if I ever get nervous, I won't tell anyone. And I kind of just, you know, work through it. And that's kind of been the best way to handle it. It's nice to kind of see that improvement and just being more comfortable talking to new people all the time. I think if you were to do this look with just like a classic white button down, it would be a little too boring or a little bit too mature, but this is just kind of like a fun, young, fresh take on, on a, you know, iconic staple in anyone's closet.
This is a traveling slash running errands look. This is Acme Studios. It's kind of like this half denim, half nylon oversized jacket. And then these are some Acme cargo pants. I had an amazing pair of cargo pants from Acne Studios that I loved so much and I wore them all the time. And then I lost them and I'm trying to track down a new pair now, but they were, these are a close second. And then I've got my P448 sneakers. They're kind of like my dad's sneakers that I've, I wear all the time and they're a little bit messy. I found the bag in, it was just in a random closet in my house. It definitely doesn't belong to me, but I've claimed it. It's from a whaling museum. I'll go through like different tote bag stages. And so this one will be my go-to bag for like the next three-ish, four-ish months, we'll see. I read this book called In the Heart of the Sea that was kind of like the origin story that inspired Moby Dick. All about just kind of like the whaling industry. I'm like a maniac and I mean, I look ridiculous when I do this, but I like walk down the street wearing these just like giant headphones. What else is in here? A makeup wipe. And then like probably four masks. This is my workout look. Not necessarily like that I would work out in this, but on the way to work out maybe. Or just like walking the dog or something like that, going on a walk. It's kind of like a monochromatic look. It's all kind of cream, tan colors, which I like to do a lot. I've got a rag and bone baseball cap. I think this is an A gold cream oversized jacket. I purposely got this like two sizes too big because I needed, I wanted it to be oversized. And then a little aloe sports bra and sweatshort set. And then these are some Hoka. They're like hiking shoes, I guess, but they're the most comfortable things in the world. Everyone in my family for the most part is, well, really just like my dad and like my older two brothers. They're very athletic. My dad was a high school football coach for years. And then, you know, my two oldest brothers played football all throughout high school. I don't think I really got the athletic, um, jeans. I like taking like classes and stuff like that. And recently I've just been doing a lot of walking, which I guess still counts as some form of exercise. So this is a look that I can't get enough of. These are my favorite and only pair of overalls. And I think I wear them a little bit too much. I've got just like a plain white long sleeve t-shirt underneath. And these are some wild shoes that I've had for a while. And like the white ones, I don't really know how to style them, but this feels right. And you know, they're overalls. You can, you can wear them like this and it can be super, I don't know, you can make more of a statement with it, I guess. Or you can be like barefoot running around the yard in it. <laughs> Oh, and um, a hat. We have a hat by Jacquemus. I actually got these overalls with the intention of getting them really messy. I have a pretty big dog and things get messy. So I needed something to just like throw on when I was like taking her on a walk or like training her or something. Something that, that was like built to get messy. And then the more that I wore them, the more I was like, you know, I think I, I, think I actually want to keep these. I'm embarrassed to admit how much I wear these. <laughs> um, maybe like three or four times a week. I'll also like change throughout the day too. So not like the full three to four days, but yeah, they're, I mean, they're a staple at this point. Comfort plus durability plus cuteness equals overalls. I have gone through like baseball hat stages, but right now I think I'm kind of it's summer, so I'm transitioning into the, the bucket hat trend yet again. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, that was seven days, seven looks. Bye.